advantages and the drawbacks of microscopy. There are no drawbacks. But there are drawbacks to somebody who doesn't use microscopy. So the advantages, number one, is that you have a range of magnification. For loops, not so much. I'm loop users, after about four or five months of use, in magnification, but they're stuck. They only buy one loops. You have it at 3.5x or 5x, and you can't go up or you can't go down. Okay, so, but with a microscope, you have the ability to go up in your magnification. So if I'm doing, uh, I'm looking for an instrument fracture at the apex, I can go up to 18x. If I'm doing a crown preparation, I can go back to 6x. I'm sure, but big difference. Big difference. Uh, the, the second very important or probably the most important advantage of magnification is shadowless light. And I'm, all, I'm sure, Kulina, we've had this experience. You're working in upper seven, occlusal distal cavity, big cheek, big tongue, then you're very difficult. And you put your mirror, you bring your light at an angle, and you're looking in and you're within the cavity. So, it takes you about a minute, and you within the cavity but you can only see the buccal side of the cavity. Okay, and then you shift your hand and then you shed light into the lingual part. So now you can see the lingual part, but it's not the buccal part. Okay, so and then you put your contra in front of it and it, it shows even more shadow. So now you can't see it all and after you give up, look, so you're working by, by chance. Okay, and this is because um, within the mouth you are creating shadow. And shadow is because your eyes are in one direction, your line of view, and the light is also at a different line of view, at an angle. So no matter it will always end up there's going to be part of the canal or part of the cavity, fiha shadow. Now with magnification, so and this time it loops our uh, microscope, el vision do. And if you're with the loops, you have your headlamp here, the light is in the same line of vision as your eyes. So if you're looking into the cavity, but there is no option to be a shayf with a day. The same thing with the objective lens of your microscope. Within the microscope, you have your objective lens, your line of view, and you have light that comes from the line of view. So whenever I'm looking in the microscope, you don't see any a shadow. This is probably more important than the magnification. Parallel vision. Um, how, how many cases can you do per day before you get a headache? Three, four, five, by the way you start getting headaches and you have to take brufen. Sure. Okay. This is one of the reasons is because of parallel vision. When you're uh, observing with, without magnification or even with loops, you are looking at a point that's about 45 centimeters away from your face. يعني المسافة ما بيني وبين العيان أو بين سنة العيان حوالي 40 45 سنتي. فأنت دائما عينيك converging عشان تشوف النقطة اللي هي or ب 45 degrees. That means your uh, or orbicularis or oculi and the, the adjunctive muscles of your eye are all under stress. Give it four or five hours of being under stress. Uh, you will also weaken your eyesight over time, while well, I can also, you will also get headaches. Okay, so, but with, uh, this, is this, this is the case with loops, and this is also the case with uh, unaided vision. And hatta bil loops, you will also get headaches, because mehma can, you are still looking at a point in front of you. Now with a microscope, you have something called parallel vision. An objective lens tal microscope, biakhud al image, and it, it is split into two separate images. One for my right eye and one for my left eye. So when I look into the binoculars of my microscope, it's as if I'm looking into infinity. So it's like the image game based. So my eyes are under no stress at all. That's one of the big advantages of magnification for a microscope for loops. Your eyes are less stressed. Okay? Also, mean kid. If you're not using magnification, could look up to kid because the, the automatic thing that happens immediately eh, is that when I cannot see, right? And when you're opening and you're, you're doing the upper, so give yourself a few hours of this, you get 
muscular pain i'm sure that after about 10 years of, of practicing كل يوم بتروح لازم تاخد لك some sort of uh, brew in it تعمل لك مساج تحط vulturing cream because simply you are stressing your muscles constantly now the case is as well is less with loops يعني in loops you will probably be sitting like this but if you notice the doctor is also bending his neck يعني even though you're using loops your head has become a joint so because احنا واحنا مثلا واحنا وانا بنقرا كتاب مين اللي بيلبس نظاره okay yeah okay الناس اللي بتلبس نظاره احنا بنتعذب واحنا بننام بالليل وبنحاول نقرا كتاب we cannot انت تقدر تقعد كده وتبص كده انا ما اقدرش اعمل كده انا عشان ابص على الكتاب لازم اعمل ايه so it stresses my neck when i name for sleep بالليل i cannot or i have to raise my hands up عشان اقعد اقرا بالليل so I tend I stress my arm muscles or my neck muscles عشان اعرف اعرف السرير. Now we are very familiar with this in الناس اللي بتلبس نظارة. بس الناس اللي بتشغل من غير loops they can look at their patient with their eyes and not with their neck. Okay? But once you use loops غصبا عنك بقيت انت focused here عشان تبص على المنطقة اللي تحت لازم تعمل ايه؟ So although it does improve your neck your back posture it does not improve much your A so even using loops over time will create neck pains. Not as much back pains, but still some a, some neck pains. This is how I operate. Upper, lower, anterior, posterior, it doesn't make a difference. This is how I sit on my microscope. It's from 0 to 20 degrees, mostly 0 to 10. And it doesn't make a difference upper, lower, or anterior, or posterior. This is how I sit. I don't care how, what. And I can show you here, I've been using the microscope for so long because I, I've, here I had black hair and now I have white hair. So I've been using the microscope for a very long time. All right, so considering that I have less eye fatigue, less back and neck fatigue, I can work longer hours. Even at my age now, I'm not that old, well I can, 25 years into my career, I can work from 9 in the morning till 1, take a two hour break and work from 2 till 9. I, do a, I can do a volume of 18 patients a day without feeling neck or back pain. Because into, now, if you, even if you're using loops, five or six hours, that's it. The, the, the reason is because I have less fatigue. I have a taban taban because it's a lot of patients, but in general, there was no way for me to do this. No way if I was using loops. No, no way. Okay, Taban, the image of being a microdentist is a very, very uh, nice image. I'm sure anybody who's used a microscope will know. Anybody who has loops, it looks very professional. And this means you can ask your patients for more fees. Literally. Okay, so you have the ability to, to do this. We put it in front of the patient. You get a new CAT cam, you get a new laser instrument. You're playing Star Wars in front of your patient. So you try and show your patient that you, are, you have extra pieces of equipment, you have up-to-date technology, and this way you can ask the patient for more money. The okay? Uh, documentation and patient communication is very useful. I find it unbelievable. I try to convince my pedo patients I'm going to do a filling, and this filling is going to cost you 1,400 guineas, or whatever, 1,400 guineas. Even if they're educated. So in the end, when you show the, patient, the patient's mom or dad this big D or E with blood coming out, and caries, and broken down, when you come to try and convince him of the line of treatment, it's very easy, because he's seen it. غير لما تجيب له مرايا بابا شايف الدرس هو شايف ايه حتى درس صغيرة فيها نقطة سودة هو مش متخيل what a problem it is. So your ability to convince your patient of lines of treatment is well enhanced. 